gallon washers that go on the uh, on the end of the races. And these go on the outsides of uh, both sides of the swing arm. And there's a nylon washer that lives up in the bike on each side. And this is where it gets kind of tricky. So you need to get the chain up out of the way. So I'm going to temporarily put it above the roller. I have to remember to pull it down off the roller. And now, look at the bolt. And the bolt, the paint's gone, or the, the plating's gone a little bit off the bolt, but it's not in bad shape. It's not really scored. So the bolt can go right back in there. So now comes the tricky part. Alright, so I got the bolt mostly in, but I want to stop and make sure that none of the washers came out. So I'm going to take a light and look up in there and make sure that all my washers are in the right places. The swing arm looks pretty tight, so it looks like they're all in the right place. It looks pretty tight looking laterally. So now, all I need to do Get the swing arm lined up and knock the bolt in. Now with the swing arm back in, I put the put the washer and the nut back on and then torque it. With the swing arm bolt in and the washer and the nut on it, I'm now I'm going to torque it to the proper torque spec. And you can measure it with a torque wrench. Or you can rely on experience if you think you know what you're doing. Go. Alright, we're going to put the right hand link in first. Okay. This has a, a washer and a lock washer, uh, and there's a captive bolt in the other side. So we get this guy torqued down, and you can see that even though it's torqued down, it's still the bearing still has action. Then we'll take the other one. I'm gonna make sure that you get the, the things pointing in. Take the other one, slip it in there. Torque this down. All right, so now we're going to connect the lower links. To do that, we need to drop the swing arm back down to where it's happy. Put the bolt in there. We got one. There's the other one. All right, and we'll put the washer on and the nut, and we'll torque this down as well. Okay, I'm going to put the brake back on, and so in order to do that, remember we have two clips and this little metal thing. So pop the metal thing up, the brake's just going to sit right there, and then the hose goes in those little clips, and they just snap. There's two of those, and now notice the chain is under this roller, and it's above the roller, it's above the bottom roller. So we're in good shape to reinstall the rear wheel, and we've already covered that.